Multi-Level Archival Descriptions. This video will show how to add child descriptions to a parent description, such as for series descriptions within a phone. It will also show how to rearrange existing descriptions and how to set the arrangement order of sibling descriptions, such as the order of multiple series within a phone. For the purposes of this video, we've created an example font level description called Example Font. There are two ways to add a child description to our font level description. The first is much simpler. When logged in, simply navigate to the parent description, shown, scroll to the bottom, and click Add New. This should probably read Add Child because that's what it means in this context. When we do this, we're presented with the usual form for adding a new archival description. While it's not shown anywhere in this form, when we save this new description, it will become a child of the example form we were just viewing. Let's do that. We can see in the holdings listing at left, our new series is contained within our example phone. If, however, you create, say, a series description on its own, you can move it into a parent description after the fact. Here we'll create a standalone series description and save it. To add this series to our example phone description from before, we click the Move button at the bottom of this page. This form shows us a paginated list of all top-level descriptions within the system, with a search box at the top. We can either attempt to find our desired parent description by browsing, or use the form to search for it by title. Next, we must click on the parent item. When we see the title here in plain text, we click Move Here and the series will be added to the example font. Let's do this one more time, adding a subseries to our example series. I'll quickly create a new subseries description. Next, I'll click Move. I can either search for the title of the series we were just working on, or I can search for the example font and browse its contents to locate the series. Once we have found the parent series, we'll click Move Here and add our new subseries to it. Lastly, let's look at the arrangement order of a number of series within a font description. For the purposes of illustration, I've created a number of series-level descriptions within our example font description. The order in which these are presented when we're browsing the font is simply the order in which they were added. If we want to reorder them, we just click and hold these little horizontal lines which show up when we hover our mouse pointer over them in the Holdings dialog and drag up or down to change the order. These changes to order are immediately and automatically saved. You should now be able to create and rearrange multi-level descriptions.